everyone, this is Marjabeen Baloch from Pakistan and you're watching my YouTube channel Insani Itihad which aims to invoke a little bit of humanity in all of us through awareness and understanding. So um, I, today actually I got to know uh, regarding the, um, regarding a verdict from an Israeli court um regarding these uh regarding three uh israeli jewish men who were barred from entering into the temple a uh, temple mount compound uh um by the israeli police and the magistrate actually um i think last sunday uh had uh had given a verdict in favor of favor of these uh, three men that you know they uh, praying as Jewish men at the Temple Mount um, is not a threat to the public and individual security of anyone. Uh, so they should be allowed to, you know, go to a Temple Mount and pray. Uh, and I think on Wednesday, yesterday, uh, a woman uh, judge um, said that on Temple Mount, uh, the... Um, Jewish prayer, right to pray, uh, cannot be uh, superseded um, in, in, in the context that it should supersede the uh, security and safety of journal people. And um, yeah, so it's, it's not like, I mean, it's not above uh, the more more eminent or more important issues like inciting people or you know the security concerns which can arise if they would go up there and uh, pray as jewish men uh, as an aspirant jewish woman of course it was a very very hurtful decision but in a in, in, in another way, the way I look at it, at least this is a wonderful opportunity to tell all those Israel haters, all those people who are anti-Zionist, who are anti-Semitic, and who show uh, that the Israeli government is actually this evil government who is trying to destroy uh, you know, Al-Aqsa and the entire compound of, of Temple Mount and, you know, is is uh, racist towards Palestinians and is shatter, uh, sh uh, sheltering the, you know, the settlers and the rightist uh, settlers who are religious, highly uh, uh, right-wing religious uh, people and all those, so uh, all those sorts of evil you know, allegations against the state of Israel and its, its, its government institutions and all. So I think this verdict is a slap at their faces. At least now Palestinians should stop whining and should, you know, at least should acknowledge that, you know, Israeli government, Israeli institutions have this amazing heart that they can compromise on their religious aspirations to pray at the holiest site in Judaism just to preserve peace and security and stability. For them, life is more important than fulfilling the Jewish aspiration of going. I mean, Shavuot is coming, you know, right next month, I think on 4th, 3rd or 4th, I think, 3rd or 4th, I have to check my calendar. So Shavuot is coming, and Shavuot is a pilgrimage festival. And this verdict is coming. And, and by the way, uh, uh, on Sunday, yes, Shabbat ends on 28th, and the Jerusalem um, day it starts uh, on, on uh, 28th, this Saturday, this Shabbat the Shabbos and um, I mean look at the verdict look at the timing of the verdict and look at I mean it just give I mean I feel so much inspired and 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 even more a stronger urge to convert to Judaism 
to see this beautiful gesture, see this, this amazing thought behind this verdict that, you know, Jewish people liberated Jerusalem from the foreign occupation of Jordan. And then they gave away those holy places back to the people who actually attacked them. And now this verdict, those three men just wanted to go there and pray. But no, Palestinians' hearts can't even have this amount of, you know, depth. I mean, Palestinian hearts and, and those radical people, they remind me of Pharaoh again and again. Like, you know, in Torah, Hashem says that it hardened the heart of Pharaoh. I feel that Hashem has hardened the heart of these Palestinians, that they cannot tolerate a fellow Abrahamic religion following. Actually, they, they are the first in following the Abrahamic traditions. The Christians came later, the Arabs came later. They are at the foremost center, and for, they are the most closest relative to Abraham. And they are the ones who are sacrificing their rights to pray at the most holiest place to their tradition, just to preserve life. At times, I think, for me, the way I look at it, it's such a, such a curse that these Muslim Palestinian Arabs have taken upon themselves, restricting the people to come closer to Hashem and to pray. I mean, it's, it's such a curse. They might see it as a victory. If they see it as a victory, they should. They should celebrate. At least stop whining about their, they are the victim, they did this, they are... I mean, all the, all the griefs and everything unjust is only happening to them and they are the most, you know, biggest and, and the only victim in the whole world. And the rest of the world is just so happy and the rest of the world should just focus on this thing that Palestinian and only Palestinians are the victim and no one else is the victim. They have, they have been stolen of their everything. And yet this verdict comes in and I just, I mean, I just can't stop admiring the hearts of, I can't just, hearts of the Israelis. I just can't stop admiring the hearts of the Israelis. I can't just stop looking, looking at a Jewish soul. Only a Jewish soul has the capacity to, to have a sacrifice like that. Only a Jewish soul will understand what a big sacrifice this is. And you know, the prayers of rebuilding the third, third eternal Jewish temple, third eternal holy Jewish temple, and the coming of Mashiach just comes from the deepest deepest part of my soul it's like i don't my my i don't i don't even have to you know have to think or or command my mouth to pray to hashem that hashem please bring the messianic aid bring that messiah build the holy eternal temple i think these are the gestures that would definitely Definitely bring me Shiach soon and our temple will be built. And I was just, yeah, I, it, it was sad, of course. I mean, for those three men, for anyone who, who is a Jew, who has this, it's, it's you know, the, the, the grief of that soul, it, it's just unexplainable. Yet, I see that, look at how amazingly we are blessed to have this capacity to sacrifice for the creation of Hashem the way the verdict and I would put the link of Al Jazeera actually Al Jazeera's article and and few other links that I, I would put in 
and you go see and you read those words like that the jewish prayer cannot supersede the security of people the security and safety of individual and group of people so it's just it's so amazing and i would i would say to all those jews that you know what our souls you know our bodies are are actually the holy beta mikdash and hashem's shekhinah actually resides in a jewish soul that light resides inside of us and only then we will be able to make such a decision such a project that you know just for the sake of life that hashem creates that hashem nurtures we will restrict ourselves for praying to the most holiest and and closest to our hearts and souls that that place and again i would say i i feel that i don't know maybe they don't even realize they like pharaoh never realized what he was doing it was such a curse that he was putting on on to himself and i think these palestinians these muslims all around the world are putting this grave grave curse on themselves by by barring or limiting these jewish worshipers to go to mount temple mount and pray and to connect to hashem and again i would say a community palestinian arab community both christians and muslims and whatever in between when they say that we want to share this country with the jews or we want a one solution or even we want a two solution because we 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 want a shared place in jerusalem and you know share it with you you can't even share a compound you can't even share a single compound a small compound a holy place and you aim and aspire to share the entire country a social system a political system a judicial system a country with them when you can't even share this small tiny little compound with these jews and you come up and you have the audacity to say we want to share a country with the jewish nation with the jewish people and the world believes at their bullshit is such a such a irony it's such a irony and it's such a it's such a curse it's such a curse and i'm sure their hearts and minds are hardened by hashem just like pharaoh's hearts were. heart was hardened i hope and pray that mashiach comes but i also hope and pray for these hardened hearts to have a little bit of blessing this is such a sad you know thing to see that they have become pharaohs um I just wanted to share that. I hope I hope those three guys and whoever is feeling bad or sad about this know that with this verdict and with this barring of going to that holiest place don't feel sad because Hashem is closest to you. Those three men who want to pray and get closer to Hashem Hashem is close, closer to them and maybe perhaps they don't have to go to those those filthy buildings were built by really filthy and disgusting foreign invaders and occupiers I mean they're built by Ottomans and all those Arab disgusting you know, people of those caliphate which was maybe maybe Jews are Jews don't merit to go to that place yet which is not cleansed enough or perhaps not holy enough yet for us Jews so it's better that we enjoy 
and we built our connection to Hashem, who's closer to us. And soon, Bazarat Hashem, Mashiach will come, our temple will be built, and this whole, you know, area, this whole mountain will be cleansed. And Hashem's Shekhinah will develop in, in, in Yerushalayim amongst us. So let's just continue to pray and build our connection with Hashem. Have a great day, great night, whatever. Thank you.